What's happening, everybody? It's Eric here from the Mature Minded Gamers. We are unboxing our AMD Radon RX 6900 XT. Super excited. Been waiting on this card for a long time. Finally got it shipped directly from AMD. I was one of the lucky ones who got one. Let's open this and see what it has to offer in this box. Very heavy. Very sleek, very nice box. Oh, look at this. Welcome to the Red Team. You've joined a select community with an uncompromising passion for premium gaming. That shared desire is at the heart of everything we do. It's why we've engineered the fastest AMD Radon RX graphics card ever to deliver a powerful gaming experience. Have fun. AMD Red Team. That's pretty cool. Uncompromised 4K gaming. Man, that's awesome. 16 gig memory, PCI 4.0 ready. Very slick. I like the little, this is all the information. Warranty card looks like perhaps. What is this? I don't even know what that is. It's got an R on it. Oh, it's a little key. Hmm. I don't really know. Do I put that on my keyboard if I want? I don't, I'm not, I'm a little, uh, a little unsure what that is. We'll check that out here in a little bit. Oh, look at this. That is awesome. It's like wrapped up. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. This is fancy. This is, oh, this is a mouse pad. <laughs> that is a great idea. Look at that. Comes with a little AMD mouse pad. That is awesome. Feels nice quality. Very cool. I did not know it came with that. This thing is a beast. Look at that. Holy smokes. It's massive. Very slick looking. Whew, feels heavy duty. That was the unboxing. We are going to now put it, put it in my machine. I'm going to run some benchmark test using 3D Mark, and I will show you guys the results. All right, let's get down to the 3D Mark results that I got. Again, this is everything's going to be exactly the same, other than the video card swap. And then on the third test, I actually used the built-in ASUS overclocking, the one button that overclocks pretty much everything that it can. Uh, on your motherboard. Uh, not greatly overclocked by any means, but it does add quite a boost. And I wanted to see the result difference to show you guys that. This is a, an ASUS B550A gaming motherboard, by the way. But I think almost every ASUS motherboard can do these features, or at least very similar. So let's break it down. The very first score here, it's listed as three, but it was the first scan we ran. This is with my baseline, and this is with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. Then we're going to move here to this one. This is the second scan with all I've done differently is I added the new video card. See the score more than doubled. Huge difference right here going from uh, 7224 to 15923. This third score here, just so we'll cover real quick, is me using the overclocking that I was talking about, the built-in overclocking with the ASUS motherboard. And I'll show you more of that here as we scroll down here. So here's your scores. As you can see, my gains were almost all from the graphics score, obviously, because it's the only thing we changed. Uh, CPU score did change a little bit here when we overclocked, and just a tad bit because it was relying less on the video card on the second one uh, than it was the first time, so you get a little bit more higher score. But uh, yeah, the overclocking did quite quite a bit for it. Uh, the main feature, though, and the main thing I wanted out of this that I got is the huge frames per second upgrade. Went from 44 to 120, and then 122 there. Second test, 39 to 100. Wow, that is a crazy huge jump. I love it. Let's go scroll down here, and you'll see this is all verified, same test. So you can see the results there. And then here's the different settings. So my 1080 only had 8 gigabits um, of RAM. This one has 16 gigabits of RAM. Uh, so double the memory. You can see here uh, the clock frequency is quite a bit higher, and this is where it overclocked it even a little bit using the settings, which I thought was kind of cool. I'm glad it did that. And if you scroll on down here, you're going to see that uh, the temps were actually a lot cooler, which I found really interesting that it uh, didn't heat it up as much. And then here's uh, verifying the processor. Except on the third one, you can see the overclocked. It took it up to uh, 4100 megahertz from 3600 base on that third test that I was running. And there you go. That is the result. So, uh, you know, obviously this video card is one of the highest in consumer end cards that you can get right now. Uh, it runs uh, $1,000, so it's a big investment, but uh, so far with my first results, I'm very, very happy. I can't wait to play some games on it, Cyberpunk, 
uh, Division Two, some of my favorites. I'm going to push it to the limits and see what it can do. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you and gave you some information. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help us keep growing the community and have yourself a great day.